Hello and welcome. My name is Brian Kaplan, editor of The Banker. I'm here with Philip Alexander, who's senior editor of The Banker, and we're discussing the upcoming uh, annual meetings of the IMF and World Bank in Washington. So, Philip, you'll be going to the meeting. Uh, we've got a special issue for the meeting. What do you expect to be the main topics of discussion? Well, as is often the way, there are the topics that were planned well in advance, and there are the events that uh, overtake the meetings and, and force other items onto the agenda. Um, in a lot of ways, this was meant to be a year of stock taking and wrapping up a lot of the, the lessons of the financial crisis and the post-crisis reforms. So we've also got the G20 coming a month later that will be um, looking at some of the final pieces of the post-crisis regulatory reforms. Um, Cross-border bank resolution is one of those. Um, and also thinking about what the, the future risks to financial stability might be. And the IMF has been publishing some reports on that lately. They're looking at things like um, corporate bond markets and our emerging market corporates leveraging up in foreign currencies and does that pose new risks for the financial system. Okay, and one of the big issues is probably going to be um, discussion about the whole sovereign default market. We've, we have Argentina now in a rather precarious situation, don't we, where you know, they've actually sort of made a technical default because of the way a judgment was made against them in the US, and that's actually the cover of the banking story. I mean, how much do you think there'll be discussion about that in the corridors of Washington? Well, that's definitely, I mean, they're really two aspects to sovereign debt and sovereign debt restructuring. One was the IMF's own embarrassment over Greece where they started lending to Greece in 2010, insisted that it was a liquidity problem and Greece was basically solvent um, and then were forced to acknowledge really after a year that, that that wasn't the case and Greece needed to restructure their, their debt to the private sector. So the IMF has been publishing some papers on how to rethink debt sustainability and lending to a, a sovereign that's in trouble. The other aspect is what happened with the Argentine restructuring, which has been rumbling on for more than a decade, and we've had you know, this rolling lawsuits from a series of so-called vulture funds, litigating hedge funds, that ultimately led to Argentina being unable to service its current debt because it was being sued over, over the previous debt. But it does raise some very serious issues, doesn't it, about the meaning of pari passu in bond contracts, which is roughly whether you get uh, equal treatment or everybody gets repaid the same and collective action clauses, which are, are contained in some bond contracts, aren't they, so that you can restructure more easily? That's right, and there are changes that are being proposed that the private sector is already active on this. The International Capital Market Association is proposing changes to legal documentation that will mean the exact route that the lawsuits over Argentina took with this idea that because of pari passu, if they were paying new, newly issued bonds, they had to pay the old defaulted bonds as well, um, that can be changed. Of course, the political problem doesn't go away in a hurry because you can only write in those new documentation as bonds mature. So you could be looking at 5, 10, 15, 20 years before you know, a lot of government bonds have these clauses written into them. So in the meantime, any other emerging market countries that get into trouble, these issues could still be very live. Okay, and now you mentioned you know, there were some things that were kind of scheduled on the, on the agenda and some things that obviously were related to... Uh, international incidents, and I presume there you're referring to what's going on in, in the Middle East and the airstrikes in Iraq. That's right, and clearly uh, I think that's going to be an issue, especially for, for the World Bank, is you know, essentially rebuilding a number of countries that have really been uh, struggling with geopolitical events. Um, Iraq is, is one of those, and obviously you know, as much economic support as it can get to try and uh, rebuild a, what seems to be a sort of broken down economy and society there. Um, also, of course, in Eastern Europe, we've got the events in Ukraine, which already the IMF is there lending some substantial amounts of money. Um, and again, there are questions over whether Ukraine's public finances are really uh, sustainable, and that a lot of that will come down to the geopolitical situation as well. So several major countries uh, at the IMF and World Bank potentially on, on opposite sides of arguments about what's going on in those parts of the world. Okay. Thank you very much, Philip. So uh, Philip Alexander and the banker team will be at the IMF in Washington and there'll be a special issue of the magazine dealing particularly with the Argentine sovereign debt issue and its ramifications as well as a lot of contributions from uh, central bank governors and finance ministers around the world.